Hey guys, welcome to this week's live session. Every Tuesday at 3. Um, it is not 3 anymore. We're about 40 minutes late. Um, but it, it was because of data issues again. We tried ADSL, like solid line. We have like a 10 meg uncapped ADSL line here. And even that's not stable enough to carry the live feeds. Um, mobile data is the best, but some days mobile data does not want to work with us. Um, so, great guys, this week uh, we're talking about lean business and lean startup and how to make money from no initial capital. Um, yo, and we had like a lot of people on Instagram live feed. We did the Instagram session first and now we're doing the Facebook session and um, just a lot of questions coming in. The live feed Tuesdays are becoming very popular and I'm really happy about that. So that is great news. Um, we just some feedback. We had an event called How to Start last week Thursday. Super successful. There was a lot of people there. Um, we talked about how to start your you know, entrepreneurial journey, how to start your side business, or how to start your full time business. And a lot of people that was driven, that was excited, that was there, got a lot of information. We um, collaborated with Frank Leibrand. Frank Leibrand talked about the psychology part and the mind part and then I came and talk about the financial part and the more business basics part and I think that worked really well together and we had a great practical live workshop last week um, Thursday so we're gonna have more of them uh, we're gonna have some more workshops coming up so watch the space and we're also busy planning our schools for next year so if you have a school that you want to recommend that we should visit. We will be visiting all of them next year. So a lot of things in the pipeline. Keep watching this space on um, Facebook and Instagram and the website www.millionaire.com. So this week we're talking about lean startup, right? And we talked about uh, three things on Instagram. So the first one about lean startup was do not go and buy expensive or rent expensive offices okay if you're into baking use your grandmother's kitchen um, or work from your garage or you know work as lean as possible offices cost a lot of money and especially when you rent them and that is a lot of overheads and remember you're signing contracts so within the first month or two if you're not making money if you're still learning remember when you start up when you start your business, you are still learning. So there's going to be dips and there's going to be mistakes and there's going to be things that you do that um, you're still learning from. And if that comes through and you have a high rental agreement that you need to take care of, you're going to be in some deep trouble. Especially if you take out, took out a loan to buy an expensive office or equipment inside the office, um, nice chairs and tables and stuff, you're going to be in trouble. Um, if you start learning um, I don't say failing I say learning because you're gonna learn a lot in business um, great so so first of all don't buy expensive offices or rent them or expensive equipment the second one don't employ like 20 full-time staff with high salaries okay what you should remember as a business owner is you are responsible for those people's lives so they come and work for you for a full-time salary and then the first few months you take a dip and then you have an issue because then you need to retrench people and that is not what we want to do so my suggestion is to to get a team of people that um, understand what you want to do with the business that believe in what you believe in that can work real nicely together with you and pay them per project on a per project basis um, that way you build the company and um, to eventually provide them with full-time salaries and then in the beginning when you make mistakes um, you're not messing with people's lives and you're actually taking care of your employees so that's important as well do not go and hire 10 people with large salaries and then the first few months while you're still learning you don't get the business and then the company fails and then all of those people has to go home without anything. So guys, that's the second one. And then the third one is um, 
do not use a make to stock system use a make to order system so in industrial engineering we learned about two systems of manufacturing you can either make to stock or you can either make to order now make to stock is when you produce the content or the materials or the product first you stock it in a warehouse a lot of stock that you gather and then you try and go and sell it to the client the problem is all of your capital is in the stock and you need capital to produce that stock um, but then the client might not want to buy it so you need to use a make to order system a make to order system works on getting the order first so you get the order from the client first and then you go and produce the stock that way around you get the income first you get the money first so you have the income and you have the money that you can use to produce the stock and then after you produce the stock deliver the product you can then take the profit so normally you can you work on a deposit basis so you tell the client you need a deposit they provide the deposit you use that money to produce the stock to make it to the order specifications you deliver the product and then you take the rest for your profit with that deposit you should keep in mind to have enough enough money to produce the product to pay your per job employees and to be able to deliver the product um, with the deposit and then the rest of the money that you get after the you've delivered the product is your clean profit so guys that is a way to start a business with literally no capital work from your garage work from your garage don't rent expensive offices um, hire staff on a per project basis and make to order guys i hope it helped um, it's some tips on how to do a lean startup a lean business startup and to um, run a business without any startup capital guys we had some cool questions on the instagram uh, one of the questions that i can think of just now when you start answering questions you just start talking and um, and then um, i don't write them down so uh, one of the questions was um, if you want marketing material like let's say samples that you want to provide to a client is that a good idea and um, our answer is Solandri saying that look it is good to have samples if you have a product that a customer should be able to taste or should be able to um, to, to, to feel um, but I wouldn't necessarily give uh, samples away that easy I've worked with businesses where they print these nice product manuals like shiny product manuals and it cost them a lot of initial capital or they make these USB business cards which is also very expensive and then they just give it away to clients or to possible clients or to people that's not even a possible client and um, that costs them a lot of money because then they have to make them again so I would say the best option that I could suggest is having like a, a portfolio or a file that you have produced a lot of samples in um, maybe if it's pictures maybe if it's material samples that people can feel that people can see and just take that portfolio with you when you go to the client so you have some samples you can display a lot of things for them um, but they don't get to keep it they need to buy it um, in that way you also do not produce a lot of stuff that never sells um, so I would suggest that is a good idea have a big file have a big portfolio take it with you to a client let them look let them feel if they have to taste then you can make little you know bite-sized bits for them to taste and um, yeah keep that low keep that overhead low because you're gonna see a lot of clients before you get a sale so it's important not to spend all of your money on possible sales um, and rather spend more money and give more value to clients that actually pays cool so that was a bit of lean startup on business a lean business and how to make money from nothing um, we are busy creating some cool videos on all of these topics to go into more depth so watch the space watch the Facebook page watch the Instagram page um, watch the website www.millionaire22.com um, everything is on there keep in touch 
and tune in for next week's live session every Tuesday at 3. Awesome guys, enjoy the rest of the day.